Uh, Mr. Nihal, congratulations on securing All India Rank 9 in Gate 2023 in Electrical Branch of Engineering. Uh, Nihal, thank uh, you, can you please introduce about yourself briefly. So my name is, as you know, my name is Nihal Omar. I am from Banda, Uttar Pradesh. I have completed my graduation in BTEC Electrical Engineering from Lucknow. I am a 2021 pass out. And this year in 2023, I have secured GATE All India Rank 9 in Electrical Engineering. And I have completed my schooling in my hometown itself. Okay. So did you take the GATE exam last year? Yes, sir. What was your rank, if you don't mind? Uh, my rank was 3500, sir. Okay. Nihal, one point here. Last year, your rank was 3500, and this time, excellent rank of All India Rank 9 in GATE exam. So, compared to previous year's preparation, this time, what changes you made in your preparation? What made you to secure such a good rank? So, actually, what happened is uh, last time uh, I was in home because of the COVID lockdown. And I was having no consistency in my studies. Just before last four months of the exam, my studies got completely interrupted. I did not even raise a pen for writing anything or studying anything. This year, I have given the complete from beginning of the March to the end of the January, which is very crucial. The last three months, which are very crucial. I have given the rigorous coverage of syllabus and revision and test series. That's why this year, my rank has become so much improved. Yes, yes. The consistency so, was there this cons time. Consistency is the key factor in your success, is it not? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is what all the other aspirants yes, also to note down this point of point. You need to have yes, uh, uh, consistent prepared. Then only it is possible to crack the step of examination with a good rank. Okay, Nihal. And even last. Okay. Yeah. Nihal, okay, so. what type of coaching program you have availed from our AS Academy for our gate preparation? So I have. I have in 2022 and 2023 uh, full length test series program, whole test series program from AS Academy, which helped me a lot during my preparation during the last three months uh, when I was revising and uh, giving the test series, which is very crucial for writing a, such hectic exam like GATE. Okay. So in our AS test series, there are so many exams, 100 plus exams are there. So how did you schedule taking this examination along with your preparation of the syllabus? So there was a specific thing I want to mention that as soon as the gate uh, uh, released its uh, uh, releases performance, like uh, when the gate exam is going to happen. So I was I tried to mimic uh, timings like uh, the gate exam for electrical engineering from 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. So I used to schedule my full length test during 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. itself, so that my body and my bio clock will get adjusted accordingly. So <laughs> that and uh, in the and in the meantime, whatever time we left, so I used to give subject test and part-wise test, those tests. But full length test only for the time when I have actually have to write the gate exam in the, that time only. So probably in the last one month of preparation time, you might have taken the full length mock test. Last two months preparation, sir. Okay, right. In this mock test series of PS Academy, where you used to stand rank wise approximately? So I used to rank wise from rank 1 to rank 15. Sometimes I got some uh, bad ranks also uh, where in subject wise test, but most of the time it was from 1 to 15. I was hovering between 1 to 15. Okay. So Mr. Nihal, as you said, uh, in the gate exam and as well as ESC also, uh, consistency is one of the key factor. And apart from consistency, yes. revision also equally important. Revision yes, and problem sir, solving revision. skills, especially for gate exam. So how you used to carry out this revision work in our preparation? So in my opinion, the revision, uh, in the first six months, if you even only study and do not revise, that does not matter that. But in the last three months, at least two to three, two to three times revision is very important. The last three months are very crucial. I used to revise it like I used to, every time I was revising any subject, I used to make short notes. I, I take a separate copy. I used to make short notes of every subject without seeing the actual notes of the copy. So whatever being uh, in my mind, it will be getting uh, subjected into my copy. And wherever I got stuck, I used to look down for my notes. So every so, time I revise, I, I make short notes. 
So every time you revise, you you prepare the short notes, right? Yeah, and and I will not see that short short notes again. Okay. One right. time short notes, one time only. Okay, good. So what about this problem solving skills? How could you develop this technique? The problem solving skills is an art. I used to like I never go through notes very frequently. I I used to uh, I used to do the study. I used to walk and talk to myself about concepts. Like even if it is machines or anything, I used to talk to myself about the concept. Like what is happening, what is not happening. So slowly and steadily, you develop innateness through yourself. Even some new concept which is not being taught to you, you will develop yourself in your mind if you talk to yourself. This was my way of learning, and uh, yeah, uh, problem solving is very important. I used to dedicate like three, four hours regularly for uh, previous year questions and some potential questions, questions from standard books, and test series questions as well, which are some new questions that are available in test series. And I want to mention one more thing, sir. Uh, in the ACE test series 2022, there was a question in power electronics. It was just directly reflected in the gate 2023 exam. But while I was writing the exam, I saw the question. I see, that I just wrote that question in the series. <laughs> so very interesting. <laughs> so our yes mock test series of quarter yes. question appeared as it is in the gate 23 examination. Yes, really? sir. Uh huh. So could you score it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, good, uh, Mr. Nihal. Yes, sir. I I did. <laughs> And Nihal, uh, you know, electrical engineering, there are so many yes, subjects sir. there, right? So many subjects are there. Uh, yes, sir. Did you follow any priority while preparing these subjects or randomly prepared anything? No, no, sir. I used to do my the lengthy subjects in the, uh, in the first time uh, initial period and the final period was for lengthy subjects. And the mid-time period was for... Uh, the small subjects like control system, signal system, measurement, EMFT. If you give the first revision to the lengthy subjects, as in the final time you give the revision to lengthy subjects, so they get completed very effectively in your mind. So last time you, do, you don't get panic. And the mediocre subjects which are short in course. Hello, sir. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, you are audible. Yeah, you are audible. You can oh, go ahead. Okay. Okay. So, so if you go. if you prepare those short Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Please tell us. Okay. If you prepare the short term courses like control system and signal system in the mid time, so they will they will immediately get carry on with that. So you can very easily score in these subjects in the examination. But at least for lengthy subjects uh, need much more time revision, like for power electronics and these subjects demand at least six to seven times of revision to get completely entrenched in your mind. Okay. Mr. Nihal, so from this uh, yes, successful journey in our case, uh, will you please yes. add some more suggestions or tips to the other aspirants of the GATE exam, particularly in electrical engineering? Sir, GATE, GATE exam is an exam uh, which is equally tough, equally uh, conceptual, and equally lengthy. Like subject-wise subject for electrical engineering is lengthy. So the most important challenge is to cover up all the 13 to 14 subjects together. If you are if you are excelling in one subject, that's not going to help. So you have to excel in every subject simultaneously. So that is very important. So what I used to do while writing test series, I used to write a four to five subject-wise test series, which are for uh, one and a half hour test series. So I used to write four to five test series of different subjects without being without being uh, prioritized key that I will do this one, this one, this this subject, this subject. No. Whatever subject I would like on that day, I will just go and write the test series. So this will help the students in excelling simultaneously in all the subjects. Like all the, you will revise six to seven subjects in a day. So this it will remain in your mind. That is very important. So accordingly, the students also can follow this type of strategy, isn't it? Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay, Nihal. Thank you so much for joining and sharing your uh, uh, what you call uh, preparation tips with the with us i once again congratulate Thank you, you sir. once again congratulate you and uh, wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors thank you thank one point i forgot nihal with this uh, rank yes, 9 sir. what are i going to do sir i right now i am preparing for esc mains as i qualified esc pre but uh, i am interested in joining public sector 
Okay. If I got, if uh, okay, right. So I wish you good luck in your engineering service examination also. God Thank bless you. you God bless you, Nihal. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.